There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton uh... of cops out there. Oh, no. We got you, sir. I do not want to do this at all. I don't like it. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Oh, boy. I think we hit a tree stump. Hi everyone, welcome to part 15 of my Red Dead Redemption walkthrough. If you haven't watched the last part, then I will leave the link in the description down below for you. Or if you haven't watched any of this, then I will also leave part one for you in the description as well. If you are enjoying this walkthrough, please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment if you don't mind being shy. <laughs> or not being shy for five minutes, <laughs> then I'd really appreciate it. Now, let's get on with it. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Doug Why does he look so oily? <laughs> has he got a new skincare routine or something? Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well... I love the sound of her voice. I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you going to let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now... The trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. You think? I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Oh, gosh. You scared Very me. Very funny. What is that? Uh, what the? What the hell are they that's actually me? so fucked Look, up. Hey, the tree line. Everybody oh. Cassie, now is not a good time to want cuddles. Uh, I need my other gun. Oh no, the, I need the repeat is not the gun to use. This is not good. Why is he just not going really fast? Get inside, fast! Come on, quick! Don't let anyone back through that door! Oh no, wrong button. Oh no. I'm way too close. Oh shit, okay. I died really Oh, you didn't retreat. No, I didn't I didn't realise I had to go inside, sorry. <laughs> I didn't realise. Whoopsie. 
got a cat on my desk now, but she's not in the way, so that's fine. That's not going to do a lot, is it? You take the windows over there, Charles. You take the side doors there, Arthur. You take the windows in the back. Go. Everyone accounted for. I think. Hey, I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. I think. Let's burn this place to the ground. That's Mrs. Adler. She's still out there. Cover me. Okay. I found me one of Jump through the window. I'm Oh. Ah, I'm stuck. <laughs> Goodness. Did miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We need you in the car. Oh, no, they don't. What the hell? Why are they on freaking boats for? Oh my god, Sadie. I've missed him. This is what you came for. God. I cannot hit for nothing. Love that. Cowards. Oh, that was uh, okay? close, but we so. did it. Except for Karen here. Ugh. Yeah, that's poor kid. Mr. Swanson, Tough. could you take this boy and bury him? She's Some covered in blood, near, but not too near. Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Homo Driscoll. That mm, man that's sad. I really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away yeah. from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Ugh, these flies yep. everywhere.
Mm, dear. Oh, dear. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. Yep. That's what love has done to her, I guess. That was definitely a tough one. Right, what have we got going on? Looks like Dutch has gone into town. Dutch has been investigating the trolley station tip. Let's just make our way there. What's your problem? This place is so annoying. Like everyone just walks in the way. Oh, move out the fucking way then. What in the... What in the... Well, that sorted them out, didn't it? There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. Well, days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be wow. reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Oh dear. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me. And you all will. Now remember, we now, just I'm want to need money. everything you don't got. Don't make us kill you. you. Mr. Oh, Mr. M, leave these fine folks and their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's your choice. Not mine. Kindly open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. Come on. I all your He's money now. Money. Don't so make me ask money. twice. Okay. Yeah. Fine, it's yours. Of course. Okay. Give me everything you got. Quick. All right. There's everything, okay? There's nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. Don't move a You're goddamn sure. muscle. Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. This is gonna end bad. Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! And there isn't much. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton oh. of cops out there. Come on now. We got you surrounded. That's greasy son now. of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. This is Don't not do good. Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. Crap. Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. We're in fucking trouble. Hold them off, fellas. Look out on the right. Watch those side alleys, Arthur. We got someone about to do. That bastard must have called in every cop in the city. Oh, 
god. We're gonna crash. The thing's broke. Hold on! Whoopsie. Oh. We need to get up and go. Get up. Sudden got a How am I hitting that thing? I'm so silent playing this right now. Will you kneel down, please? Hello? Why are you not kneeling down? He's not kneeling. Why are you going that side? He's not crouching. Can you? I don't think maybe I can crouch behind it. Maybe that's why. Seem to be better at shooting this time round. Not me, just like in the middle of the road. I'm in such a bad place. There's not enough places to like couch behind. Stay down, I'll hold him off. Coming from behind us, get rid of him. Looks like they ain't giving up yet. 
my bounty is only $165. Make it make sense. That was a uh, risky business. I think we're clear. That was you know ridiculous. What, we're not even that far Next away. <laughs> time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got fifteen dollars. Well oh, done. And a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. Mm-hmm. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. Well, we ain't One got it. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that, uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Right, no joke. I got interrupted there because <laughs> there was a pigeon in the back garden and it was shoved in the corner and my mum was like it can't stay there because we have a cat and a dog so it probably wouldn't be the greatest idea to keep it out in the back garden so I did pick it up I will insert a picture here somewhere um <laughs> and I've put it somewhere safe but I do think it's probably dying it was really warm but its eyes were on and off closing and it had no issue with me picking it up so I do feel a little bit sad but we're gonna carry on because I don't want to finish off on a sad note and we've only just started really it's very cold outside as well so I mean most birds and things like that can handle the cold weather and everything but maybe it's time has come I don't know Right, let's go and speak about money lending again and see what's going on now. I don't think we've done this in a while, so. Mr. Morgan. Hello. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti. I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar Me kind too. of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. They're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Seems like he's got enough money. He just needs to give it to us, you know what I mean? Right, let's go and see if we can get some money off of these people. I mean, he seems to be chilling and hey, getting drunk right now. You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Mm, I do. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. Um, I got a powerful first floating bottle. Right now. How about you? You gotta be stinking. My graphics are that bad that, um, 
He can't even hold the bottle properly. I need a new PC. Let's us handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that death. Uh, this is as fast as I can go. Someone's here, boy. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fish us a drink. Another one, Pop? Mm. Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Oh, no. There's a there's just a knife the there. Mm. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. It's He's... our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Shouldn't have turned your back on me, you parasite. Nice try, bro. Yeah, you're you're drunk, bro. He looks like he's a bit of an alcoholic. But then aren't most people in this game. find some money this some in my footlocker i can't, i've been keeping it away from them ain't that lucky oh bless him that's, <coughs> oh that's sad oh. i think i know the sum and that should cover it ain't you the good son you should be proud of yourself Right now, it looks like Dutch actually needs to speak to us again. So let's head back. I feel like it's always just going to be bad news. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. Mm. Now what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh, sorry. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. 
Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Mm. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Here we go. Once I've heard again. That before, and usually I've been you were right. only supposed to be here for a couple of days. So. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Sorry that that We're graphics thing keeps coming up. I, met a boatman there called I accidentally, well, I didn't accidentally, but I was like playing around with the settings there. and now it won't go back to how it was. So I don't know why, even resetting it, it still won't do anything. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. I need to clean my horse because uh, I caught okay, a deer. <laughs> Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Have a nice night. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. Yep. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn Faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but 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 when did you become so small minded? If you'd rather we break up the Whoa. family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together. Working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. <laughs> I hate these swampy areas. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bring him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. A business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Mm, okay. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes there's to... There's a lot of chickens around. Predator with a big mouth, Dutch. 
Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Oh, yeah. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Oh my fuck going down there. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Really? Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? I do not like this. This one's empty. Alright. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brooks. I am not oh, liking this. More the kind of reptile I can handle. Yeah, you two can can go down there. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. No thanks. You can see why even in swamp waiting hasn't caught on. There's one right there, no? I love it out here. Peace. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yeah, some strange people. Right they are getting a little bit too deep for my liking. There's one right there! I do not want to do this at all. I don't like it. I do not like this. Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Another trap by that small <sighs> I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. Probably because he's been eaten by fucking gator. This is awful. Stuck in the mud. It happens. <clears throat> Guess some didn't good. want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. Yeah. There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. No, me neither. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Why do I have this feeling that he's just going to get eaten? Where do we go from here, then? There's three there, bro.
Like, what are we doing right now? My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. This is too much. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Are okay. you serious, well, Bray? Here, so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Have I got to go right? Oh. This is awful. I want to run, but I'm scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Jules. I do not like this music, bro. This is not good, bro. Hey! Someone there? Over here! That must be him. Oh, he's up there. Hello? Mm -mm. Up here! Hey! You in a tree! What are you doing? There's a monster. Oh. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Mastiff, it nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? I can't. This is too much. <laughs> I don't like things like this. Take a gift. Take a big Deep breath. It's going to be okay. It's not. But it has to be okay, right? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jews. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Okay. <laughs> and uh, where did this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. Bro, this is just not okay. This is not jump. Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. This yes, is not okay. Please, let's go.
This is literally like a scary movie. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. <sighs> this, I still don't feel good about this. Finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Oh, boy. I think we hit a tree stone. Yeah, I thought we clear. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Are hey, you... Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. I can't. You'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You no, I can't. Yeah, it's too you. much. Just admit, Jules, now pull. There's no way, bro. I'll shoot something. Got no stamina left. We're done. I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. That is ridiculous, bro. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. He's gonna be okay, son. Yeah, it's bad. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. That's awful. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. This poor boy's leg. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you can. Get back 
Oh, what is going on there? You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and mad. Yeah. That's unusual. Bless him. You know, I'm the little ones angry. Big ones is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the I'm so sorry. I don't know why everyone's faces are really shiny. <laughs> Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. <laughs> Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? Ugh. Just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you that was awful. Sure. I'm going to head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I don't know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here.